what are you doing? Political what are you science. In? Political science. Oh, okay. What, so, are gonna, what are you gonna do? I like to be a consultant of some sort. Okay. That's My awesome. dad was uh, like overseas for a long time, working for the embassy. So like oh. international relations was always something that interested yeah, me, yeah, yeah. And especially since back home, like mining is so big. Yeah. And we were able to upset in 2016, so it was kind of nice over there. But now it's time to come over here and see what we can do. Yeah, well, that's great. Yeah, enjoy. Uh, Thank you. We'll speak in a second. And yeah. Great. No, I just came, yeah. I drank it, you said come in. Pleasure, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Are you from Saline? No, you of M actually. So I'm from Nevada originally. Okay. So I worked over there. Um, I graduated in 2016. Great. Decided to come over here for my master's. So just kind of getting to know the land. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are you studying? Studying political science. So I took my bachelor's in. But my dad was in the embassy for a long time in Egypt. So we were in Cairo. So like international relations was always something that really interested me. So. Well, good it's good to, to know the Canada. You're into a U of M grad. And, uh, let's see. Hi. Can I just get water with lemon right now? Yeah, I think we have a couple others that may be here later. Just waiting for it to fill up a bit. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Too. I was following the, following the primary and then I waited until after the primary to kind of see what's actually going on. Michigan's an interesting state. Everything's so like, you know, the Republicans barely took it. From no, yeah, from no, I'm from Nevada. Nevada. Yeah, I've only been here. So I think that's the thing that we've had labor here for so long. It's mm -hmm. like the Democratic push. Yeah. Right. So they really dominated. I think the conversation sure. for a long time. And we're kind of transitioning right now to being more. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you. You know, progressive and labor, and that's yeah. kind of that tension that you probably saw out there. Oh, absolutely. Well, I noticed too. Like some of the more progressive movement is definitely bigger. You know, a lot of us. Are more progressive right. in a sense. Right. Yeah. You know, so I think that transition, wishes. you know, we're working through that and it's yeah. keep happening, but um, these races actually continue to add the conversation. Like I, I met with Steve, um, I, the, you know, I don't know how sure. so we talked about how to continue to get that movement engaged in, in, the, in the conversations we're having in the community and, and make sure that comes forward after I win so that right. we can continue to do that work. You're running against Tim <laughs> right? Tim Oliver? Yeah. How long has he been in office? Uh, in and out for five terms. He lost okay. in 08. Okay. Back in 10, I had a gerrymandered. Took a guy out that, was, that won in 08 against okay. him in 12. So we didn't have a candidate in 12 and then 14 and 16. 14 up one year in. Then I ran in 16. 16 was a bad year. 14 and 16 were bad years. Presidential, yeah. 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 So the big sweep of the nation, which was a pain in the neck to watch. It. Good, yeah. I see a lot of momentum, and everybody's enthusiastic. I went and saw Abdul speak with uh, yeah. Catherine Masto yeah. in Ipsy last week, and that was cool to see like 1,200 yeah, people no, there. I think there's just a crazy. lot of good energy, which you keep going on, and I'm that you know, people understand that we're not going to forget about what we're going to do. Like I was saying this morning to Selena and Tanya, I was like, there is a, I said, for me, this is an iterative process. It can't be like here to here because we have this district's been Republican yeah. for a long time, except for one time, and that was in 08. Right. And that was a very close race. And he immediately lost in 10, partly because he went. Like, the Affordable Care Act, kind of, people, like, you do big legislation, big policy, people get scared. Yeah. So that's why I don't really talk about Medicare for all. Yeah. You know, that you gotta, it's kind of. It's still important, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yep, I totally support yeah. that. You took commercial health care and getting more people access to health care. I mean, I personally went without health care for a long time when I was raising my kids. Yeah, my parents had some issues with it too, with Affordable Care Act a little bit, but things are starting to get better over in Nevada. 
Yeah, good. Yeah, my dad started to pay a little bit more and more, but he's always been. I think you're going to get, um, it's Jackie Rosen. Who's Jackie running? Rosen, yeah, yeah, she's going to beat Dean. Oh, yeah. yeah he's vulnerable. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know her. She's great in Clark. She was in a, a race last cycle, so I went to, like, we get to an opportunity to pitch our race around the country when you're a top tier race. Yeah. So I went to a couple of things and she was at them. So I got to know her a little bit. So I'm yeah, really good. glad she won. And then we got Masto in, which was good, yeah. in place of Dean. Yeah. So. Good. Well, great. So it's been great. Well, it's good to be here. Yeah. Thanks for having me. I'm sure the team gets to meet you a little bit. Good. I'd love to have you get more engaged. Yeah, of course. That would be great. Yeah. Talk to these guys. Sure. Thank you. Nice to meet you. This is not the best place to have a party. I know, that's okay. Yeah. I guess that didn't work out. Yeah, that's all right. The people over there are really active. We have a couple of individual groups. Are you familiar with that? Uh -huh. That's like a showing up to be like a resistance agenda. Okay. Individual and it's about like getting more people engaged and having things that aren't partisan, that they're just frustrating. Sure. So there's a lot of active. People are helping you. Yep. They've been taping uh, the Walberg and his townhouse and stuff. And stuff. Okay. That's how we made international news thing about the picture of the country. The food is kind of funny. Yeah. What do you think of all that? I um, support, I believe in science. So. Right. Yeah. I gotta drive back to Ann Arbor. Kind of a lightweight, I don't drink much. Which is interesting being in the... Okay, so you're right there. I did drive, but it's a short time. I'm glad you're selling in your space that you like. Sorry, but I'm glad you're selling in your space that you like. Yeah, I live on North Campus by the VA. Well, we need time to help. We'd love to get you involved. Yeah, Megan is going to start a group text with me with somebody from the college dental over there, so that would be good. Great. He's going to be on the porch school. Porch school, yeah. Okay. That's a policy school, a lot of people. Uh, like, he came out of the porch school. Oh, really? My minor was in international relations, but it's kind of a mess, so I don't know what I want to do with it. I think policy is more my forte. Or law, but as I was saying, law's tough. After I graduated after five years, I was like, you want to take the bar exam now? I was like, I'd rather do anything else than that. <laughs> no, no LSAT. No thanks. What do you want to do? I like doing campaigns. Really? Like for a long time? I want to do consulting eventually so that I can be in like DC or somewhere and, and help do campaign stuff from afar. But um, I knew I wanted to do campaigns since I was a sophomore in college. So. Wow. 
So you want to do like what you need to do? I'd like to. Well, like along the lines of that. I've also thought about like doing like some non-profit stuff. And uh, I'm trying to see where that would take me. This will keep you busy. You got signed too. Ben Schmidt's here. Look at the pink shirt. It's nice to talk to you. Likewise. Look to yeah, pleasure. What got you involved? What got me involved? Yeah. Well, I know a lot of people on staff already. Okay. Um, I'm the field director, so I oversee all the voter and volunteer programs and like getting the vote out, actually. Sure. Um, what are you guys using? What do you mean? Like for voter contact. Um, we use Van, which is what... Oh, you know, yeah. It's the same, yeah. Um, so that's what we use. Um, what are you guys seeing on the ground? So even in the primary, like high dem turnout, which is good. There was turnout. I mean, it was you know elevated turnout on both sides, but we did see some pretty high turnout in the primary. So. I noticed Republicans always turn out in the primary anyway, so it's good that we were able to over overcome that. Yeah. Which means that people are listening now. People are awake. We're gonna need a lot of help. Though. We need a lot of people knocking doors, making yeah. calls, um, making sure that we are talking to as many people as possible. Good. So we have a lot of interns from Ann Arbor. Oh, good. Yeah. So you should get to know them. Yeah, of course. Well, she'll get me connected, which will be great. Yeah. As long as, I don't know how hectic my schedule is going to be. I'm taking 16 credits, but. Sure, yeah. This is also important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I knew some people on staff already. I've known about Gretchen for several years now. She was just telling me she was part of this.